So I'm in a house and it's just occurred to me that um, I want to show you something because I've come across this you know, dozens and dozens of times and uh, it's always a conversation that uh, I have with, with landlords. Maybe I've had it in, in, in my own head as well, you know. Um, well, I'll show you. There's uh, in a two bed terraced house and uh, there's an ugly eyesore behind me. There you go, look. Can you see that? That is a, uh, a building site that's gone bankrupt, and uh, you know, if you go over there, it's in the back alley. It's uh, it's a bit messy, and it looks yeah, it's, it's off-putting. Um, does it stop us buying a house? Do we? Um, yeah. what, what 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 do we think about it? What 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 what's to consider? Um, for me, like like a lot of these things, when I see uh, you know a, a negative, you, you can quite often turn it into a positive because. Definitely that will put some people off buying this house. Um, and when I say I've seen it before, I've, I've seen it dozens of times, but yeah, the backyard, some, something that is out of our control, somebody else's building, um, a view that we're looking at, maybe it's some wasteland or something like that. Um, and it, it would definitely detract from the price, uh, detract from uh, the desirability, the curb appeal, all those things. And for that reason, the house isn't selling. I, I don't think that's the reason that this house isn't selling, but it, it could be a, a slight contribute, uh, contributive factor. Um, so what do I think about that? We're gonna buy this house, not because of that, um, maybe despite it, but um, it's factored into the price. So I know that houses on this street are worth sort of 75, 80,000 pounds, and we're buying this one for under 50,000 pounds. It's yet to be determined exactly what we'll pay for it, but um, yeah, significantly under, and we won't spend much money on it. It's probably got a 12,000 pound renovation on it as well. So um, in fact, actually it might be worth ever so slightly more because we've just noticed as well that this has got a full height rear extension, um, this rear extension here. Where the kitchen is if we go upstairs it's got the bathroom above it and uh, the other houses on the street haven't got that so it might be worth another five grand on top of that anyway um what will happen is it'll, it'll be all factored in all those numbers stand absolutely true i know we'll rent out for sort of uh, 450 475 rents are going up in this area so by the time i've actually finished it it might be worth a bit more and everything be good. Um, you can see that, that that fits our usual model. Um, I'll buy it in cash, we'll renovate it, uh, I'll refinance it and I'll pull pretty much most of my money back out and I'll be left with a staggeringly high return on, in, uh, return on capital employed because I won't actually have much money tied up in the property. And all will be good. And um, I'm not looking to sell this house ever. Um, so, you know, sat, sat back in the office, everything will look exactly as, as, as normal uh, and also the uh, the tenant uh yeah, be happy the placement would be decent and safe so uh you know assuming that they've rented it and they saw what what's outside and they're happy with the price maybe i'll get 25 pounds less on the rent i doubt it honestly however sometime in the next five years and i know that plot up there is uh, is on up for auction um somebody's going to buy it they're going to finish it and each one of those houses over there they've got to be sold for about £125,000 because that's how much it's going to cost them to uh, build them, you know, plus plus their margin. It wouldn't be worth it um, to, to, to sort of sell them for any less. So, and this is what I've seen happen multiple times. So if you go into a house and you look at an eyesore, I've seen it in, in Northampton, Nottingham, uh, Sheffield, Rotherham, Leeds, all over the place. You know, you're looking out at wasteland or a horrible sort of site. When somebody else spends their money, not your money, fixing that thing up, it inadvertently, just as a byproduct, puts value onto your property. So sometime in the next five years, I expect the value of this house to go up because somebody else fixes that mess out there. In the meantime, I will be totally happy to own this one because it stands on its own two feet, it washes its face, and it, it looks ex exactly like a, a, a normal deal in any case. So, yeah, just worth um, thinking about it for sure, but don't let it put you off. Uh, in actual fact, we've managed to find a positive. I know we buy this and I'm looking forward to a bit of a, a bump uh, in, in the capital value at some point in the next you know, five, five years or so when that thing gets finished. Anyway, bye for now.